Kung alam niyo ang sagot sa tanong na to, just put it in the comment section below. And then kung gusto niyo malaman ang buong solution, just watch the whole video. What is the sum of the series 0.5, 2.5, 12.5 to 7 term? Is it A, 9,792.5, B, 12,207, C, 2,750, D, 976.5, or E, 9,765.5. So bago natin isolve ang problem na to, let me just discuss. Ang problem na ito is about the geometric series. Ang geometric series ay isang series wherein merong constant ratio between successive terms. Ngayon, merong dalawang klaseng geometric series. Meron tayong finite geometric series at infinite geometric series. Ang problem na ito, ito ay isang sample ng finite geometric series since nag end yung series sa ikapitong term. So, sinulat ko na dito yung formula para sa paghahanap ng sum ng finite geometric series. S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times 1 minus R raised to n over 1 minus R. Where R is equal to A sub 2 over A sub 1. So, sa problem na to, ang number of terms mo is 7, so ang n mo is equal to 7. A sub 1, ito yung first term, which is 0 0.5. 1 minus r is to n. Yung r mo is yung common ratio a sub 2 over a sub 1. So, equal lang siya sa 2.5 divided by 0 0.5. So, that's just equal to 5. So, yan ang common ratio mo na r. So, now, substitute na natin lahat ng values. S sub n is equal to a sub 1, 0 0.5 times 1 minus r is 5 is to n which is equal to 7 over 1 minus 5. Ang pinaka-challenge mo lang sa problem na to, ang pag-solve mo sa 5 raised to 7. Pero tuturuan ko kayo ng shortcut kung paano ito mas mabilis na solve. So, 5 raised to 7, pwede mo yun siya isulat as 5 raised to 4 times 5 raised to 3. So, ang 5 raised to 4, di ba equal lang yan siya sa 5 squared squared. So, 5 squared is equal to 25. Then, square mo lang yung 25. Times 5 cubed is just equal to 25 times 5. That is 125. So, 25 squared. Kung nanood kayo ng mga past videos ko. 25 squared is just equal to 2 times 3, 6. Then, 5 times 5 is 25. Times 1, 2, 5. So, let's multiply this one. 2, 5 times 125. So, ang 5 raised to 7 mo ngayon is equal to 78,125. So, isubtract na natin yan ngayon sa 1. So, ito yung magiging 0 0.5 times 1 minus 78,125 over 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Equal to 0 0.5 times negative 78,124 over negative 4. Para mas mabilis ang solution natin, di ba ang 0.5 equal lang yan sa 1 half? So, ang 2 ngayon, pwede mo na siya i-multiply sa negative 4 sa ilalim. So, patong tayong panibagong equation, negative 78,124 divided by negative 8. So, resolve natin yan. So now, ang final answer natin is just equal to 9,765.5. And since negative over negative is just equal to positive, so positive 9,765.5 at yung magiging final answer. So kung ang sagot mo dito is E, then nakuha mo ang tamang sagot. So sa ganitong mga problem guys, importante yung importante na memorize nyo ang formula para mas mabilis yung masolve ang sum ng geometric series. So kung may natutunan kayo sa video na to, please hit the like button. And then you could also share if you want. And please follow my page, facebook.com slash mankmatrix. Or pwede rin kayo mag-subscribe sa YouTube channel ko. Again, this is Max Matrix.
Thank you.